Hey guys, it's Mark, otherwise known as Drone Ski or Drone Sky, however you want to pronounce it. Uh, I have the H501S set up here. I got my controller over there with the antenna mods. And I also have a battery uh, mod there too. What I wanted to show you real quick was, of course, the A and B props need to be, you know, they're self-tightening, but you should take this little wrench and put it in there like so, just to hold the motor, and then give it a quick little tug just to make it tight. Uh, this is a B-prop. They always tighten uh, clockwise. A a props over here tighten counterclockwise so I'm going to go ahead and tighten the props here you don't want to tighten them too much because they are plastic threads and you can strip them so just make sure they're all tight before you go out and fly I mean just just a safety precaution okay they're all tight let's take this bad boy outside uh, here's my um, controller I did the 5.8 gigahertz 14 dBi high gain panel antenna and I also did a 3 dBi 2.4 gigahertz bipole antenna modification very simple SMA to IPEX drill two uh, holes in the top and you just clip them in I use super glue to hold them on the back, I use some high crow velcro, and down here you have a JST connector, and I don't even really see any point for having the battery cover as long as you have this. So let's go outside and fire it up, and I'll show you how to properly calibrate it. And let me tell you, it is freezing outside. I'm in Wisconsin and it is cold. It is about 25 degrees and it's very windy, so I don't know how long or how I mean how high I'm going to take this up, but I just want you to be able to see how to properly calibrate this, okay? First of all, main thing, you need to find a level level surface. You know, if you put it on an angle, it's not going to work right. So I'm looking for a level surface and some light so you can see. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to plug in my transmitter. Some people have ground down little holes in their transmitter. Alright, transmitter's plugged in. So, let's turn it on. Hopefully you can see that. I don't know if you can or not. Turn my flashlight off on my helmet cam here. Not sure if you can see that, guys. some glare so anyway I started with the GPS mode on got my panel antenna facing you know 
where the quad would go, and the bipole antenna should face away from the panel antenna. And if you can see that, I already have five GPS satellites on my quad. I mean, on my transmitter already. So I'm going to go ahead and set the controller down. And I'm going to plug in the battery. Make sure this is on a level surface. Go ahead and plug in your battery on a level surface surface and leave the battery door open for now okay there you go you got lights it's initializing it's checking the gyro sensor and it's also calibrating the barometer now the red circular lights means it needs to calibrate the compass as you can see on here I don't know if you can see that or not but it says calibrate compass one so, put your controller down. I've seen other people spin in circles. You don't want to do that. What you want to do is go as slow as you can and as steady as you can with your hands until the lights start to flash green. Now you do a vertical calibration. You point the nose down and do the same thing. Try to keep it steady and do not move from that area. Don't use your body, use your hands. And now I'm ready to fly. So I'm going to close up the battery door. I'm going to set it back down. So it's back on the ground where I set it. And right now I am waiting for GPS. I got four satellites on the quad so far. Now I got seven. Sorry about that. So anyways, I have nine satellites on the quad, and I have seven satellites on the GPS. Now I got ten satellites on the quad. So if you wait a few minutes, it's not really killing your battery just for those lights to flash. You know, I'm... I'm at 8.1 volts, not really worried about it too much. Now I got 10 satellites on the quad and 7 on the uh, transmitter. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, fly it. You know, first you have to go out and in the arm. Actually, you know what, I forgot to do something, I'm sorry. Before you fly, go into, um, hold your left stick down and go into menu. Go into your menu. As you can see, mine came with, it's already on set sensitivity. It's on uh, expert mode. The sticks are at 100%. So I'm going to leave it at that. Fly with no GPS, I always turn that on yes. So it's on yes. I'm going to exit that. Show version. Now this is what I was talking about when I, I said this thing came with really cool versions. Now it's 4.2.9 and The quad is version 1.211, 1.2.12, 1 
4.2.9 and V1.313. Okay. All right. So anyways, I'm trying to put my cap back on, sorry. Okay, so we got 12 satellites, and it's only been about a minute or two. Got 12 satellites on the quad, and I got seven on the controller. So I'm going to start the recording on the control on the quad by hitting this button here. And that shows me that it is recording. And let's arm it. It's armed. And let's go flying. Give it a minute to find its happy spot. And look at that. I mean, I got no drift, nothing. It's staying right in place. I mean, it's moving a couple inches. That's about it, guys. I'm going to uh, stop the video and um, see if uh, I can get some good footage from the quad. All right? So that's how you calibrate. Put it on a level surface, let it sit there for a minute, do your compass calibrations, wait for satellites, arm it, and take off, baby. See you later.